and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu enchantments in uh, Historic. We're doing best of one today because it's best of one day Monday. Um, I do have a sideboard as you can see over here. So if you'd like to play in best of three, I do have a sideboard you can use. Um, it's kind of just a mono black sideboard, but that's okay. But yeah, we're, we're going to be playing some Mardu enchantments. The thing that I'm really excited about with this deck is we're, we're playing a Doom Foretold deck, but I want to pair Doom Foretold with the Eldest Reborn that also makes the opponent sacrifice creature and Planeswalker and can also be a value enchantment, you know, with all three uh, chapters of the saga. And I think those two could pair pretty well together. Since we're playing Doom Foretold, we have to play a good amount of things that we don't mind sacrificing. So we got our eggs, a Guild Globe. We got all these Othakayas. There's usually a lot of aggro in Best of One, too. So all these Othakayas should hopefully be pretty good there, too. And then we have a lot of sweepers to kind of pair with this to make Doom Foretold and Eldest Reborn better. Uh, to keep them from being able to, just, to go wide and sacrifice um, not valuable things to those. Oh, sorry. Looking, looking at Hawkeye. Um, but anyway, uh, we got Clarions. We got Kaya's Wrath. We have one Realm Cloak Giant as well. Uh, be, as this is just a, something that we can play the cast off and then be able to have the Giant afterwards. Um, this is, of course, we're going to be adding in two new historic anthology cards here. We have Phyrexian Arena to give us that card advantage to help us just uh, outgrind opponents. Plus, if we're losing too much life from Phyrexian Arena, we can just sacrifice the arena to a Doom Foretold. But we have we have some ways to gain life. We have the Othakaya, of course, that has lifelink. Merriment, one-third of the creatures can gain life. with That one right there, the 2-1 that has lifelink and haste. And then if we're also going wide with Merry Mint, we can just use the Clarion to give our creatures lifelink and gain a bunch there also to help offset the life loss. And of course, we have Golden Eggs too. Um, and then our other one is Mindstone to kind of help ramp a little bit, even though Mindstone doesn't work perfectly with the Kaya's Wrath. And so I went with One Realm Cloak Giant also, but Mindstone's just a strong card uh, ramping for us. A couple of Lilianth at the top end to also help us draw a lot of cards whenever we have our creatures dying with our Merry Mints. And that's our deck. You can see we have all, I'm going all 12 uh, black white lands. So we don't have to have that much red mana here. You know, I have 12 red, I have 12 red sources because we don't need that much red mana. We only have these seven red cards. So we have the 12 red sources. Hopefully that's enough. If not, we have the golden egg and the guild globe that can uh, filter our mana as well. But lots of, lots of black and white mana. So I think our mana is really good with this deck with the historic mana base. But oh well, all right, here we go. So we're gonna be playing some best of one. So for historic best of one, the way to do it is you just go to play. This is the only way to play best of one. So you go to the play queue and I guess choose all decks and Mardu enchantments. Here we go. Uh, what are my feelings about historic? I really like it. I've, I've had a lot of fun playing historic each time that we have over the last couple weeks. I really like the changes they made with just getting rid of Oko. I was, that was like the one, one thing I didn't like about historic was that it had Oko. So I'm glad they got rid of Oko. Getting rid of Once Upon a Time and Veil of Summer, what I would be just fine. I think, I think those cards would be just fine. Getting rid of them is just fine also. I don't, you know, no real, No real big deal to me either way of getting rid of them or keeping them. Let's play the golden egg. But I'm really glad they got rid of Oko. And so yeah, since then I've been I've really liked it. I don't know of any agent facts. Um It does seem like oh Nexus was banned in Pioneer too. It does seem like maybe uh, people in general aren't as excited for historic, just like just based on my my YouTube views. I don't get as many YouTube views on historic videos as standard videos. But from just what I've played so far, I've I've honestly probably had more fun playing historic right now than standard 
Because, yeah, like, they, they don't really publish any historic lists. So, the metagame is definitely very open. It's, it's pretty basic decks with, like, a lot of basic aggro decks in historic right now. Because, yeah, there aren't really any anything that publishes the list. So, it's that means it's going to take a lot longer for the metagame to get solved and all that kind of stuff. wait I wish I didn't I I played that too fast I wish I didn't auto tap my mind stone because I would just be sacrificing the mind stone here to draw a card just elders reborn they sacrifice visionary isn't anything to write home about we have a lot of sweepers I think that I'm just going to look for another sweeper I'm pretty surprised. Pretty surprised they're gonna. Like, they didn't protect Growth Chamber Guardian. And be able to play Gro Growth Chamber Guardian and then activate it immediately. Thanks, Don's. Glad you're loving the Abzan Beagler deck. Visionary so good. From Cloak Giant even better. Makes sense they got another Growth Chamber Guardian. I'll get Elder Reborn going now. I'll be surprised if we lose this, basically. Thanks, Gyorio. Yeah, that... Yeah, that was definitely a good, a good deck there. The Abzan Bugala. They got to discard a card. Could have kept an extra land. No, I'm we're playing historic right now. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. Good health is easy to find in war. Ooh, the Great Henge is awesome. All right, that's that's a card that could, in theory, defeat us. In theory.
but we're going to make him sacrifice it. Bye bye, Great Hinge. Yeah, they do have best of one historic. It's just it's just hidden. Um, best of one does not go towards rank. Best of three is ranked. So you just you just go to the play queue for best of one, and you just bring a historic deck. My favorite kind of deck are mid range decks. Yeah, I like mid range creature decks. Oh, I don't have the man to play that too. We may hit a land drop here. Poor elf deck. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna play. And we're one and oh. Okay, you like elemental decks with Risen Reef? Yeah, those are like mid-range. Those are good old mid-range decks right there. What? You've never seen Historic Elves win a game? Jay Gomez, did you see me play Elves twice? Twi I played Elves twice. We played it in best of one to start with and then in best of three. And did really well with it. It was, yeah, like Elves, elves is a lot of fun to play. I really like my Elves, my elves deck. I know, right? Oh, mana base is so good in Historic. Love it. I really miss these. Good old buddy lands, these Dragon Skull Summits. Hey, Manelia. GG's there. Good games. I like your elf deck. Okay, you're fulfilling a quest. I gotcha. Yeah, we had a we have a very anti elf deck here. With all the sweepers that we have. Um This might be somebody fulfilling a quest. <laughs> Speaking of fulfilling quests. Play, you know, play 20 black spells. And just put all the ones that cost one mana into a deck. Sack two creatures, draw three cards. That's cool. They, you need to attack first, though. Just did an attack. Yeah, not if all you want to do is complete a quest. I don't think I'm going to count this one in the win-loss column. That did just look like somebody just trying to complete a quest and cast a bunch of black spells. Yeah, I think they were just trying to, to play 20 black spells. And they're like, alright, we played as many spells as we could there. I'm, I'm not going to count that one. <laughs> no, like hand, our, hand is, our hand is emptied, the game is over. Go to next game.
<laughs> he used to he used to have a deck exactly like that just to complete quests. No, I think yeah, this deck could do this deck could probably do fine in best of three. It's just it's just today's the one the one day of the week where I have it set up to do best of one. Um We have redeemed highlight my message. I don't know what it, what is that, Lord Paku? Yes, yeah, so this is just you know it's best of one day Monday. I know there's there's a lot of people that that like best of one, and so we have one day a week set aside for it. No, no Starfield Mystic in this deck because this deck's playing lots of sweepers. So we're trying to we're trying to clear the board a lot, and so playing a lot of sweepers doesn't really go well with playing a two mana T two. Well, there isn't yeah, there isn't a, a ranked best of one historic queue. Ideally there would be ranked best of one and best of three. But there's not. Oh, cool, Encyclobell. Cool, we got the point system in the channel. I don't know anything about that, but that sounds like a good thing. I make the deck list, JB. Yes, I made this deck. Um, sometimes we get donation decks, viewer submitted lists. And sometimes I'll use uh, like Magic Online 5-0 decks or, or something at, at some point, but most of the time it's just me making some decks. Oh, okay, awesome. Encyclobell, cool. Oh, nice. Cags a lot. You in ranked, you've gone 6 0 with the guild with uh, four color gates. Awesome. Uh, I like both. Yeah, I like I like playing and brewing. Yeah, I like I like doing I like both of those. So I know I'll be able to double spell with these two this next turn. But for a deck that's playing a bunch of expensive sorceries, we're not good against counter magic and flash stuff, as you can tell. This is probably our worst matchup. Try to bait out a counter spell with Merriment. Uh, 
Uh, I, I don't know the new two mana Curious Obsession. I just don't, I don't know much about that. Golgari or Abzan Wolves? Yeah, I like Abzan Wolves. There's definitely some good stuff with Abzan Wolves. We need to be hitting the uh, two ones with lifelink. We need to hit that one each time. This is blurry by puddle of mud. No, two, three ones. Do you have reach? No. All right, one on one. Uh, I'm not sure, QQ. I don't. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. All right, back to back to my opponent not playing a bunch of counter magic, please. My favorite color for magic is is green. So I like green creatures, but doesn't mean that I, I like all of the stuff they do with green. They they've been making green too strong recently. Comparatively, which you know, which is why there was some so much stuff banned. Still not too bad for us. We got We got Ascanta out of here. I can wait a turn to Othakaya the Teferi. I don't need to do it this turn. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> yeah, mine stone's great. Right on hurry. Ooh, draw land. Yay. I'm going to be trying to kill this to the big Teferi because that's the one that that's the really scary one. Good. No counter spell. Another move. That's rude. You know what? I'm not done yet. Queen 
I guess I could have shocked and played Mindstone. Also. What? They ditched Dovin's Veto? Is that not just like the, the best possible card to have? Like you have a Teferi in play. What? Why would they get rid of Dovin's Veto? Your boldness is so I don't understand. Do they just have another one? I won't let you win. Hmm, doesn't seem like it. I guess not. I gave them ample opportunity to do stuff. Obviously, I, I cost myself two life by attacking that, oh, by attacking through that Othakaya. Just wanted to give them opportunity to spend their mana and do something. Let's try this. Not today, Death. Like a fun new toy. <laughs> yeah, Esper Agro. Yeah, Arena could kill us, but um, ways to gain life we have uh, we have Clarion that can give our creatures life link. We have these these eggs we can sacrifice for life. Um, obviously the Othakaya. Um, we also just have Doom Foretold that we can just like use a Doom Foretold and just sacrifice Arena. If it if it comes to that, yeah, Ka Kaya's wrath their own creatures. We could do that to gain life. the The outlaws' merriment can make uh, life link creatures. This is unfortunate. I definitely want to fairy hero of Dominaria. But this Narset's really annoying. So I could take the Time Raveler and bounce the Othakaya and have the Othakaya kill the Narset. Because I, I can't draw more cards right now. It keeps them from being able to play like Dovin's Vetoes now. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> yes, Kanta. This Kanta's really good. Ugh. I get the Liliana too. Looks like they kind of came ready for a bunch of Planeswalkers with. These elders with like that that elder spell was critical, and now command the dread horde. Hey, what's up, Rage? Thanks for that tier one sub, our ninth sub of the day. 
Thanks for resubbing there, Rage. I've got time. We need to move quickly. Yeah, that should just be game now. I don't have any main deck elder spells. Um, that was obviously just a heck of a turn there. <clears throat> you may notice like the the sideboard that we have for our deck I I have a lot of stuff for the for that matchup in the sideboard you know we have two elder spells there but then we'd have the four duress and then four ashiok that would keep them from bringing that stuff back and also just get rid of their win cons and stuff so we, we'd be bringing in uh, 10 cards and heck noxious grass would be able to kill these teferis too we may just bring in 13 cards <laughs> And, you know, cut all the Clarions and Kaya's Wraths and Realm Cloak Giants. And at that point, we'd just be cutting the Oath of Kaya since we bring in Noxious Grasp. And so we have have a lot better shot post-board. But we're in best of one. Hey, Janini. We had a, a good game against Esper, where we were looking pretty good, but then they had a huge Command the Dread Horde to take over. I'm guessing this is an Affinity deck. Like, probably, like, blue-white, like, probably all that glitters Affinity. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this arena. I kind of kept that because that fit, but now thinking about it, I probably should have put that to the bottom. Oh, that card's so good against Doom Foretold, which was my plan. Yeah, I just have to draw a sweeper. Okay. It doesn't help a ton because Emery just replays it. Hey, Scamden. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Maybe I'm supposed to just take out the Emery. I think I am. Hey, Frisky Viscus made a Santa Cat? That is awesome. That gets us to our 10 subs. Yeah, perfect hand. Gets us to our 10 subs. Day. And... So where are these where are these channel points things? Like, is that something that I set? Oh, there, it's right there. Okay, I see it.
Okay, yeah, I remember enabling that. Okay. Ooh, so I do have a screen to modify the rewards. Those are the default awards. What are we doing over here? Another Esper Control? Yeah, I like channel points. That's cool. We needed this hand last last game. We needed Kaiserath last game. <sighs> this is not the matchup we want to face in best of one though, because the be boarding out all this stuff. In normal best of three. Today's been a rough best of one day, that's for sure. Yeah, I found I found where I could edit rewards, so I'll I'll see if I can add something. Yep, full wins or not. This is just ridiculous. We're just playing against a person with unmoored ego. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> so much histor so much best of one is just aggro, and we just run into the control deck that's built to be control decks in best of one. Unmoored ego? Are you kidding me? Best of one. Where are the creature decks? And then we need to draw Kaya's Wrath, unlike last time when we didn't draw Kaya's Wrath. Like, how could you have Unmoored Ego in Best of One? You just play against a good two Lava Runner and you lose. Ugh. Our next deck, our next deck that's a donation deck that it, um, it is best of three. The donation deck that we're going to be playing here in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, doing it for the lulz. Yeah, I mean, that ego got me, that's for sure. Sacrifice this. Ugh. 
<clears throat> this is what we want our deck to do. Othakai and Doom Foretold. Eldest Reborn. Hmm. You can get that Torbrand out of there and I'll just gain three life. I don't need those creatures. They'll come back. But now we get... We for sure get Torbrand back. So we get their Torbrand, so now all of, like, these things are doing five damage. You know, like, these things are now doing a lot more damage. I can give them lifelink next turn. That thing does three. Give all these lifelink. 28. All right, back in the win column. Face the aggro deck. Back in the win column. Oh, awesome, Harris. You're real close there to Mythic. You can get there. And nice, MC got to Diamond Tier 4 for the first time. Good job. And Hillbilly, it's all good. Nothing wrong with being in gold. You've only been playing for three months. That's good, getting to gold. And you'll get out of it soon. All right, so we're playing one more game here with Mardu Enchantments. And then... Yeah, when the when the season ends, you you get moved down two spots. So yeah, if you're in Mythic now, you go to Platinum, yeah. It kind of changes. I mean, it changes depending on which where you're at, but yeah, that is correct that um, Mythic goes to Platinum. All right, so I don't think I want to play the arena. So we'll just play Blood Krypton tapped and Golden Egg. Taking my land, I need the land. All right, never mind. I'm gonna kill this Robber of the Rich before it takes more cards from me. I don't know, that, that may not be a good play. Maybe I should just still just Golden Egg and let them take the top card. Hope I can survive at six. We do have gold egg that we can play it and crack it and gain three. This is gonna be close though. Hmm. We'll go this route though. This means that if they draw a three damage burn spell, I lose. If they don't, I probably win. It's a 
a good sign. What? They just didn't cast Wizard's Lightning? Oh, maybe they didn't realize that thing that said discard a card. They probably did not realize that. Wow, they, I mean, they had lethal. Wait a minute, they had lethal because I was at six. They could have just Wizard's Lightninged and then skewered me. They drew the three damage burn spell. Yeah, so yeah, that's what they were saying with the oops. Because, yeah, they ca cast the wrong one. But even still, then they just needed to. Still just. I'll keep in response to that other thing. Cast it, but... So it was technically a victory, but could have and probably should have been a defeat. Okay. So there's Mardu Enchantments. Um... Still, I, I think I like this against the creature decks. You know, I think that we did pretty well overall against um, against creature decks and against aggro decks with having all these Clarions, Kaya's, Rats, of the Kaya's, stuff like that. The control matchup we found was rough. And that's what our sideboard, as you can tell, is basically all for that control matchup. You know, against like those Esper control decks, we'd have 13 cards to bring in. Cause Noctis Grasp kills Teferi, so it's, yeah, we'd, we'd have 13 cards to bring in. Because, um, yeah, that's that's a tough game one matchup for us. Because uh, because we're definitely slanted to to beat aggro because you you face a lot of aggro in um, uh, in best of one and just in general I think that the, this deck is really just supposed to be slanted to beat aggro and that's what we're trying to do um, so yeah just don't don't play against uh, control but you know if you're playing this over in best of three let me know how it's going for you. You know, we have like that sideboard that can do a whole lot of stuff against control with having four duress, the two elder spell, the four Ashiok. You can mill them out because the Esper control decks in Historic are very slow and don't play a ton of win conditions, mostly trying to win with Teferi. So if you can mill them and exile their library and keep the Teferis in check with a bunch of Noxious Grasp, Elder Spells, um, Doom Foretold, Eldest Reborns, you can have some success for sure. Anyway, there we go. That's Mardu Enchantments. Elders Reborn was awesome. I have to say that, like, yeah, Phyrexian Arena was, was good, too. But, yeah, Eldritch Reborn was awesome. Um, there's, there's probably a way to play this with Fires of Invention, We talked as we talked about before. I uh, couldn't really fit Fires in here, even though I, I, I originally wanted to play Fires with these. But it's... I think you kind of have to either play Fires or Doom Foretold, because Doom Foretold makes you play all these other cards that you don't really want with Fires, I don't think. So I think you kind of have to pick a lane there either doom foretold or fires but maybe i'm wrong maybe you can fit fires in here somehow i just don't really see how um if you have a, an idea of how to fit fires and doom foretold and elders reborn together let me know over on the comments on youtube but that's it here for mardu enchantment so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video